By the early hours of the morning of the 4th of June, Ariane 5 stood proudly on Ela 3, waiting for the final countdown. No one would sleep much that night. They never did before any launch. The skies opened again, and the tropical rain poured down over the rocket. There were doubts if it would be able to launch the next day. Its prospects looked poor. By the next morning, the forecast had improved slightly. A final decision to go was taken. Tous les paramètres propulsifs sont normaux et la trajectoire est normale. 37 seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. They made an automatic adjustment to the trajectory as the rocket was traveling at the speed of sound. A well-rehearsed civil defense evacuation began immediately as clouds of toxic fumes enveloped the surrounding area. The ghosts of Europa had returned to haunt the tigers in the jungle. Recuperation and recovery teams were back in action again. The mighty Ariane 5 had been blown to pieces by faulty computer software. there would be a board of inquiry and recriminations, the learning curve. A cruel cartoon in an English Sunday newspaper said it all. The loss of Ariane 5 on its maiden flight was a bitter disappointment, most especially for the many scientists who'd worked so hard on the four cluster satellites. Forgotten in the fireball that became Ariane Flight 501, with the years of research and patient engineering that go into delicate and intricate scientific research satellites. Each machine is hand-built from scratch. Sometimes this means that kilo for kilo, these satellites would cost less made out of solid gold. But the greatest loss is inevitably the rich scientific harvest they were designed to produce.